Welcome back to Schools Out Fishing. My name is Dave. Today we're again fishing out on Lake Michigan out of Sheboygan, Wisconsin. I'm fishing with Mike and Scott. We're fishing on Ryan's boat. He's up at the front there. And I'm also fishing with my girlfriend Megan. You've seen her in plenty of my videos. And we set up really, really early this morning and nothing was really happening. That's kind of the way it's been so far this year on Lake Michigan. Uh, but we're definitely looking for something a little bit bigger. If that doesn't pan out, we're gonna head out deeper and kind of work that trout game plan like we've been doing the last few days. But we definitely wanna put a big king in and they typically hang out a little bit shallower. We wanna see something over 20 pounds and that's why we're kind of grinding it out in close. Hopefully something goes and uh, we can keep playing in shallow today. Shallow, I mean like 100 feet of water or so, thereabouts. That's typically the bread and butter for the big king salmon. Yep, yep, yep! Once it's inside board. All right, Megan's quick to jump on it. It's water copper. Don't want to get the, the board off. What? Yeah, keep reeling, keep going. Go on. Yep. What do you think so far, Meg? Uh, it feels kind of big, but yeah. not super big. Okay, now you have to rush it down and keep it right there in the team and right at the point of board. Keep going, there you go, perfect. First bite of the morning. Fast, fast, fast. Doing good, you're doing good. What do you think of your first Lake Michigan King Salmon, Megan? It's a little baby, but it's yeah. still exciting. On Lake Michigan, the smaller the king, the better it tastes. So this is a perfect fish for grilling up. You can see this fish still has its adipose fin, which means that it wasn't uh, raised in a hatchery. Every single fish that comes out of the hatchery, they slice that adipose fin off of, and then they release it into the lake. So this fish, uh, this fish's parents spawned in a Lake Michigan tributary, and then that fish swam out of the river into Lake Michigan. Congrats on your first king salmon, Meg. Hey. You can tell that this fish is a king salmon because it's got spots on the tail, and also it's got a dark mouth. So, dark mouth is salmon, and then the spots on the tail identify it as a king salmon. We're running a lot of lines this morning. We can see we've got a back downrigger. That's gonna be the deeper one. And then we've got a, a little bit shallower of a downrigger there. We've got a wire diver down deeper. Again, kind of as we're from the back and working our way up, we, we start really deep right off the boat and we work our way up until we get to uh, fewer lead core colors out way out on the boards. Um, we've got a higher diver here that's just outside the wire diver. That's gonna be higher than the wire. And then we've got some copper line and then we've got our lead cores uh, further out, as far out as we can get them. We're running a lot of lines on this smaller boat and uh, as long as you keep everything spread out, you don't turn too sharply, things are gonna work out okay. Good right, <laughs> job, baby! Mikey, Mikey, go. That's moving. We're hooked up, we're hooked up. That moves on, we're gonna get Nice fish. Look at him go. If he pulls, don't reel. Uh, the guy at the board here. Right here, you go. Here comes. One more. One more. Got him. Nice pull. Nice. Scott. Oh, you. Wow. <laughs> Woo! Uh, cool it, please. That is nice. That was a fun fight. We're 
having almost all of our action today on these yellow offshore boards. Uh, the rainbow trout love to eat insects near the surface. In fact, almost 90% of a, a rainbow trout's diet consists of insects. Uh, and they find those pretty much close to the surface. That's where they like to hang out temperature wise as well. Uh, this board here has a plane which causes it to pull along the side of the boat. This one's set to the right. It pulls from this clip so that it kind of enhances the angle of it as well. And on the back you see it's weighted at the bottom. This particular one has a flag and uh, that causes the board to pull away from the boat and that way we're able to run more lines we're able to stagger those lines this concept was actually invented right here in Sheboygan the first model was the yellow bird it was invented by Eddie Vassilis and uh, since then there's been many makes and models uh, there's some there's plenty of great boards on the market uh, Ryan happens to use the offshore boards why do you use these offshore boards Ryan they're they're just bulky boards. They're good for you can run copper lines on them. Um, they run real good in the in when it's real wavy out. Um, and I like the the red clips. The OR18 clip is the strongest spring clip there is to keep the line on nice and tight. The black and the orange ones are more for like a walleye um, brown shout type of uh, release. I like the big heavy duty ones out here when you're fishing with currents. Uh, keeps the board on. You don't want the board to fall off. Put the put the one closest to the flag on first. And you want to put it. It's a pinch pad and you want to put it way on the back of the pinch pad. That's the strongest part of your hold is way back in here. You put it way back in there first. Let her down. And just give a little bit of slack here. Same thing, go all the, way, all the way back on the pad and then it really holds on nice and tight. Hooked up again. I think this one might be what, maybe a big lake trout. Oh, I would say it's probably a rainbow trout. You guys look like you need to get wet. It's big. Yep, it's a good one, that's for sure. That's perfect. If this ends up being a puny little thing, I'm gonna be really disappointed no, in myself. It's, it's gonna be a nice fish. <laughs> well, the only way that would happen is if it was twisted around the, yeah, but it kind of self-wrapped around the, one of the gills or something. But other than that, it's gonna be a real nice laker. Even that, when a fish gets wrapped up like that, it's really, really hard to pull them in. And this one is just kind of bulldog, and it's not like, you wouldn't be able to gain anything if it was wrapped. There you go. <laughs> Wow, what a beautiful fish, Meg. Nice job. Is that a dandy rainbow or what? What do you think? It was definitely a fight, but it was worth it. Beautiful. Awesome. When we're cruising around out here for rainbow trout, what we look for out on the water is just kind of a little break line. And it's difficult to see, but when you're out here fishing by yourself or you know with your buddies, Look for those little lines where it looks like the water lays just a little bit flatter. What that actually is, is a different water temperature. Water has different density at different temperatures. So when they mix together, you'll see that and it'll lay flatter right in the center there. The scuba divers will definitely know what I'm talking about. A thermocline looks the same underneath the water, kind of like wavy and shimmery. Well, it looks a little bit different on the surface of the water. It just kind of all lays flat in the center. So target those areas. A lot of bugs like to lay right on the surface on those break lines and the rainbow trout come up there and they nibble on them. You'll sometimes see them jumping right on the water there. That's a great place to target rainbow trout. It's awesome. Uh, that's basically what we've been doing all morning. Just going through break lines and stuff. You'll see dead alewives laying right on the surface. 
Uh, you'll also see dragonflies, bees, uh, grasshoppers, things like that. Rainbow trout love to eat that. You'll open up a, a rainbow trout's belly and you'll see just all sorts of insects pile out of there. Uh, they just love eating bugs and uh, that's what we're hewing in on today. So if you're ever kind of wondering what you should be doing differently targeting rainbow trout, gotta look for those break lines. We're gonna start wrapping up lines. We got three rainbow trout and one king salmon. Hopefully we get some more pulling lines, but if not, it was a great day of fishing. If you wouldn't mind, just go ahead and hit that little red watermark or the subscribe button because that really helps out a lot. Thank you very much for watching. I certainly appreciate it. Here it comes. Oh yeah. Oh he wow. Lake yeah. trout. Yeah. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do him right here. Might as well get him right here, yep. Gotta get, gotta get. That's it. That's the leader. Oh, really? Yep, that's it. Bag them. Right, hey, way to end it, boys and girls.